Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the Week What You Can Do Through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today you are watching Web API Benchmarking Go Fiber vs Rust Actix Web. So today I am uh, proceeding to the next uh, benchmark that I want to execute which is between the Golang Fiber framework, as I was, um, uh, as uh, a viewer asked me to do, uh, be uh, between this framework and the Actix Web Rust framework. So this is the code. Uh, let's go through it quickly. As you can see, I define a user struct with the same fields as the Rust API. I have my get user function, get users function, which returns uh, a, a list with 1,000 users. I have uh, normalized the data here too. It's the same amount of characters, uh, and we have the main function and our uh, API endpoint, and we just return the users with no caching. We are calculating the users on each request. The, the code is the same for the Rust API. It has not changed. If you want to see it, you can check the previous uh, videos. So let's uh, go directly into the benchmarks. Uh, let me get out of here. This is our first URL and this is our Rust URL. So let's start the Golang uh, API first. And we will say uh, go run main dot go. It's listening on port three thousand. Let's uh, verify that it is okay. It is listening indeed, and we have one thousand users. Correct. And now we are ready to benchmark. We will start with Apache bench command. This is the command. Uh, we are executing 5,500,000 requests and uh, 1,020 concurrent connections to the API. So let's run. Let me bring the system monitor here too. This is the CPU usage. Let's see the processes here. About 50% of CPU usage and memory about 100 megabytes, which is quite good, I would say. I think at least. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, yeah, the memory is quite good, I would say. We are about to wrap it up with the requests here. Excellent. So let me move this here to prepare. Uh, let's kill this first of all. Let's cargo run release this. Let's verify that this is not working and this is working. Excellent. And let's run this benchmark now. Same amount of requests, same concurrent uh, requests to the Rust API. Let me pop up the system monitor. CPU a little less and the memory is about 10 megabytes, 11.7, which is a 10 times less uh, mega, uh, memory usage, 10 times less compared to the Golang. And the CPU again is less than what the, the Go API used. So we are done. Let's compare. Uh, concurrency level, time taken for test, here we are. 
the Golang uh, AP, uh, yeah, the Golang API needed 55 seconds to complete this test. The Rust API needed 37. We have no failed requests between the two frameworks. Requests per second, 9,000 requests. 13.54 uh, uh, requests per second. Time per request, uh, 133 milliseconds, 76 milliseconds. Transfer rate, uh, we are in, in the million here. This is uh, 900,000 kilobytes per second and we are 1 million point four approximately kilobytes per second. And uh, let's see this uh, stat here, percentage of requests are within a certain time. As you can see, Rust is better across the board and the only difference is this um, request, the longest request, which as a, a viewer said and he might be correct, I think this is the issue. This mu must be the first request, which is the request that takes the longer time in order to uh, initiate, let's say, the system to warm it up. Uh, of course, this is just a guess. I'm not sure about it, but it makes sense. Okay, these are the, the stats for the Apache Bench benchmark. Our next benchmark will be the WRK. So let me clear this. Let me clear this and let's benchmark the Rust API since we already have it running. So we are executing with six threads and uh, 1000 concurrent requests and we will execute for 40 seconds. Let's see here what happens. Let's check the CPU usage. We are about 50% and our memory is 124 megabytes. We are stable at 50% and memory is stable too. And we are done. So let's kill this and let's rerun this and let's execute the same let me prepare this first of all I had a little pause due to a telephone call but we are ready I have this here uh, and we are ready to benchmark the Golang API So let's start benchmarking and let's bring this here. You see that the CPU usage is uh, more than the Actix web and the memory is again more. It's about six to seven times more. So let's wait for it to conclude the test. CPU at the same levels, memory approximately at the same levels and we are done. So let's kill the API and let's start comparing. <clears throat> latency 125, latency 52 and max latency one. 101 milliseconds and here we have 1.78 seconds this is a very big difference requests per second 2.99 K 3.09 K max requests per second 6.97 3.64 the total number of requests is 700 1,713,000 
and here we are 739,000. Request per second is 17,000.8. 18,000.4 and the transfer rate is 1.77 gigabytes and 1.83 gigabytes. Six threads, 1,000 connections, 40 seconds for the two APIs. Okay, so we are done here with the benchmarks and as you can see uh, Rust is better across the board, both with the Apache benchmark and the WRK benchmarking. Uh, it's not a huge difference, which is very impressive for Go and for this framework specifically. I don't know if this performance is uh, Go lang specific or if it is framework specific because I do not program in Go and I'm not familiar with the performance of the native package via the, this fiber uh, framework. But overall, I think that uh, the performance of this specific framework with Golang is quite impressive and it is very nice to have uh, such uh, results. Uh, Rust is again the winner, let's say. We have better performance with less resources and we always have the, the safety that Rust provides. So again, yeah, this benchmark shows that, in my mind at least, uh, Rust is superior. Of course, I'm not trying to create flame works, flame wars with these benchmarks. I'm trying just to compare tools. I am a fan of Rust, but I understand under other people who make other choices and like other things and other frameworks. So again, I'm not trying to start any frameworks. I'm just stating my opinion and providing these benchmarks to the viewers. So this is all that I wanted to share in this video. Hope you like it. Hope you find it uh, useful. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.